Central and Borrello and the Greece is Central. And he's a founding member of the ICE and he's a leading vice president of the ICE Education Foundation. Um, and he's treated, he says, over 11,000 patients, probably not sure, probably more than 13 or 15,000 patients. You know, he's the kind of doctor where the buck stops at his desk. They've been to 20 other different doctors, now they come to him and he says, I'm going to fix it. And that's it. And he does. So he's really, really educated and really, really smart. And I think you're going to get a lot of hearing about what he has to say. He's been given a lot of awards, humanitarian year award. He's a good singer, he'll sing to you later on. He, did a, he actually made a, a, a CD with um, some famous people, but I won't get into that. Anyway, please uh, welcome Dr. Horowitz. So it's a pleasure to be here. I'm going to uh, follow up on Dr. Boroscano's talk to talk to you about Lyme disease and MSIDS. I've coined this term MSIDS, multi-systemic infectious disease syndrome, because as Dr. Boroscano said, these patients who come to us who are chronically ill, they don't just have Lyme disease. They usually have ehrlichiosis, anaplasma, babesia, other parasites, Bartonella. So what I'm going to do today is go through with you a map that I've developed after 25 years of seeing over 12,000 patients of what my patients have that really keep them chronically ill. So MSIDS is a new paradigm for chronic diseases, and chronic Lyme, from my point of view is a symptom complex of not just Borrelia, but these multiple co-infections. And we're looking at anaplasma and Babesia being the most common with Bartonella. We see a lot of mycoplasma, a lot of rickettsial infections, as well as other bacteria and viruses. Um, Multisystemic infectious disease syndrome would really better define these patients who have chronic Borrelia and who complain of chronic fatigue. They have muscle and joint pain that migrates around the body, which is classic for Lyme. There are neuro neuropathic symptoms of burning that also comes and goes and migrates. A lot of neuropsychiatric abnormalities. So they have multiple abnormalities responsible for their syndrome, and the problem is, is if you only treat Lyme and don't go looking for the co-infections, for all the different aspects of why these people are ill, they're just not gonna get better. And we just published something in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine on these causative factors in chronic disease. So this is the map that I use in my practice, and this is really one of the most important take-home points that I have for you which is after seeing over 12,000 chronically ill patients, this is the map that I've discovered that really is why these patients are not getting better. Under the infections, there are four different types of infections. They have different bacterial infections, different parasitic infections, not just babesia, but also other pyroplasms, filariasis, amoebiasis, giardiasis, toxoplasmosis, intestinal parasites, uh, FL 1953, there's a lot of parasites out there that are making these people sick, and I would probably say it's the number one co-infection that is probably causing a lot of damage in these chronically ill patients. We see a lot of viruses like Epstein-Barr, herpes virus 6 in these patients, um, West Nile we do see from time to time, and there's a new virus that just showed up on the scene called the Heartland virus. I don't know if those of you saw the New England Journal this year, but it looks like a lichiosis. It can cause low white cell counts, low platelet counts, elevated liver functions, but it's in fact not a lithium anaplasma, it's from a virus, a level virus that's now being found in the Missouri area. So that's another virus now to keep on the list. And finally, we do see a lot of candida fungi and neurotoxins. The second point on the map is immune dysfunction. A lot of anti-nuclear antibodies, rheumatoid factors, Lyme causes people to have an overstimulated immune system. They also have a lot of inflammation. We see huge amounts of cytokine release with these people. Interleukin-1, IL-6, PNF-alpha. Now, if you can shut down the inflammatory response in these patients, even if you've not completely treated the bacteria and the co-infections, these people will significantly get better because they have what's called sickness syndrome, which has been described in the psych literature, which is the fatigue, the muscle aches, the joint pain, the neurocognitive deficits, the mood disorders. They're from cytokines.